Hey there, Nancy, Drew, Clue, Crew, I'm Mora, and welcome to another video walkthrough of the Nancy Drew game series. Today I'm playing Danger on Deception Island, the ninth game in the series. So let's go ahead and get started. Welcome to my latest case, Danger on Deception Island. To learn how to play, choose Gameplay Overview. When you're ready to start the game, choose either Junior or Senior Detective. I'm going to go with Junior Detective. Yes, I'm still going with Junior. Here I am on a ferry bound for Deception Island, one of the San Juan Islands off the coast of Washington State. George's friend, Katie Firestone, is expecting me. Katie's a marine biologist who's doing research into deep water parasitic growth. She also owns a whale watching boat and takes tours out practically every day. I should be excited, but for some reason I feel on edge, like something's out of whack. Maybe it's because George and Beth arranged this little vacation for me, and sometimes their plans don't work out so well. Or maybe it's because we're about to dock at a place called Snake Horse Harbor. Kind of a creepy name for a town, don't you think? Or maybe it's because I haven't been on vacation for so long that I've forgotten how to relax. Anyway, we're here. It's not raining, but it's not sunny either. It's just kind of gray. Maybe that's why I feel so strange. Never yours, Nancy. Katie? Hi, you must be Nancy. I'm Katie Firestone. Come on, I'll take you down to the boat. Great timing, huh? I just got back from getting some groceries. George could not have picked a better time to arrange for you to come out here. Just last week, this orca showed up in the channel, and now it... Oh my gosh, what happened? Someone tore the place apart. The engine's a mess, parts are missing, others are damaged. Why would somebody do this? Are you gonna be able to fix it? I better be able to. I can't afford to pay someone else to do it. And if I end up having to replace a lot of parts, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Want me to help you? Look, you're on vacation. Just go relax. Or bike into town, or, or take my kayak out. It's at the end of the dock. Just always wear your life jacket. And don't go past the channel markers. And if the fog starts coming in, head to shore fast. The fog we get around here is as thick as cotton. And never go out without a GPS. That's a global positioning system. Mine's somewhere around here. Anyway, your bunk's the empty one below. Why don't you go unpack? Need any help? Nope, I'm all unpacked. All right, and here in Nancy's suitcase, I want to show you a couple of cheeky nods to the previous games. Uh, Beach Hill Museum from Secret of the Scarlet Hand. Uh, this magazine was featured in Ghost Dogs Moonlight, but it also references uh, Secret of the Scarlet Hand as well with Maya, Mayan temples. Used as alien landing pads, a reference to Sunny June, the previous deputy curator who believed in such things. Here are some tokens from the Haunted Carousel. And um, look at this calendar. Got the paintings of the dogs from Ghost Dogs and Moon Lake. Ah, my trusty laptop. Good thing I recharged my battery. Yes, and we're going to need to use Nancy's laptop for a few things throughout this game. Ah, my brand new anagram Including the anagram buster. buster. I come across letters that need unscrambling. I'll be all set. But we will also have to check her email. If I have to do research on anything, I can use this. Sea caves? They might be fun to explore. Yep, we're going to be exploring some sea caves. Ooh, cool. Yep, always wear a helmet. <laughs> All right, now let's um, take a look around the rest of this place. What's in here? Wonder what's in here. Fish, perhaps. Your faucet, too! At least the 
messed up the faucet left all the pipes here. I hope. Yes, they did. Luckily, it's not a hard arrangement. And you have to use all of them. Well, that looks right. That looks right. And Nancy will say that looks right. if they're right or wrong. That looks right. That looks right. That looks the right. The all fixed. I'll turn the water back on. Hmm, there was something under the pipes. Hear that piece of little victory music now that I've fixed the pipes. All right, now it's up and running again. And look at this. Uh, we could fix something to eat. Let's have Nancy fix a sandwich for herself. Uh, however, there are some ingredients in here that are bad to eat that you don't want to use. These are good stuff, and the as well as the peanut butter and jelly. Um, what's bad though is this, that's a moldy cheese. Jellyfish, you don't want to eat that. Uh, this mayo, which is, you can see it's bat expired. Uh, you don't want, I don't think you want the anchovies. And you have these options. Let's eat it. All right, but of course there's a catch. What's the best way to get all these in here with no space left over? Yeah, you know you can have the space when you see the hand there. If there's no hand, there we go. And yes, we have to look at one of these books. Complex morphological issues, microscopic trachea analysis, microtome surfacing? Uh, yes, her phone number, we will have to call it later. But before I go out and explore further, let's look at her microscope. Okay, use your microscope? Sure, go ahead. We're just doing it for fun here, but we are going to need to use it for something later. Yeah, that's pretty cool stuff. This note wasn't here before, was it? Uh oh. Yes, it doesn't look so hot. I better tell Katie for GPS to go. So let's not go out on a canoe until we have a GPS. You know, Nancy, for what it's worth, I shot my mouth off pretty good at the town meeting last night. You think that could be why somebody did this to your boat? I did get pretty obnoxious. See, the thing is, this orca, this killer whale, showed up in the channel about a week ago and has been hanging around here ever since all by itself. She was getting way too close to boats, so I called the National Marines Fisheries Service. They made some recordings and did some tests and are analyzing them. In the meantime, they ordered all boats to stay at least 300 feet away from her or risk paying a thousand dollar fine. That's what the meeting last night was about. Some people don't like that idea. The people that fish for a living sure don't. They're steering clear of the whale by taking the long way around the island to get out to sea, which costs them time and fuel. Some people say she should be captured and towed out to sea. 
But the fishery service has the last word. They've asked me to monitor her physical condition while they study their data and decide what to do. But personally, I agree with the no-boat zone. I also think that if she's found to be sick, she should be shipped to a research facility for treatment, not returned to a pod. I said as much last night, only much more strongly. Who's Andy Jason? Andy does whale watching tours too. If I had a dollar for every time he's come here trying to talk me into selling out to him, I wouldn't be fixing this engine. I'd be buying a new one. Do you want me to call the sheriff for you? Actually... I'd rather not get the sheriff involved. The insurance company would raise my rates, and I just can't afford that. Besides, I've got my very own private detective now. You. Uh, so I'm afraid whoever Nancy's here to take a vacation, but now she's up to another mystery. Oh, no. It'd be a shame for you not to go kayaking. I know. Bike to the Hot Kettle Cafe and see if Holt Scotto will let you borrow a GPS from him. See you in a bit. I'll be right here. All right. Let's go to the Hot Kettle Cafe then. Make sure you pick up the helmet, otherwise Nancy will die when you try riding. Can't go in there. Here he is. Well, well, looks like Snake Horse Harbor's got itself a newcomer. I try not to make a habit of talking to strangers, Mr. I, I'm Holt Scotto. I'm Nancy Drew. Katie Firestone said I might be able to find you in here. Well, you're not one of them save the whale and the heck with everybody else crusader types like she is, are you? I, I'm just here on vacation. Her true colors came out real clear last night. Us fishermen don't count. All that matters is rescuing that poor precious orca out there. To heck with people trying to make a living. Of course, is the way she makes her living being hurt by that whale? Why, no. Her business is booming. Now, ain't that the oddest thing? Her boat was ransacked this morning. She ticked off a lot of people last night. That's what she gets for being so meddlesome. Anyway, welcome to Snake Horse Heart, home of Cadborosaurus. That's how this place got its name, you know. Who's Cadborosaurus? Well, that's the sea monster Native Americans used to see out in the channel ever so often. Called it the snake horse. Had the head of a horse and the body of a giant snake. People on Vancouver Island started calling it Cadborosaurus after it, or one of its relatives was seen a couple of times in Cadbora Bay. They call it Caddy for short. And I should point out that actually, yes, Cadborosaurus is a uh, an actual, in real life, an actual myth of or part of myth and folklore up in the Pacific coast of North America, named after Cadboro Bay. So, interestingly, uh, to see that her interactive paid real-life tribute to in this game. Does it ever do anything? Back in the late 1800s, he took the rap for a lot of hoodoo around here. Fog would roll in at night, and men would just vanish. <laughs> it was the snake horse people would say. <laughs> Little did they know. Why do you think they vanished? Well, they'd been to Shanghai. See, a bunch of establishments in town had secret panels built right into the walls. Guy would be having a drink one minute, and next minute he'd be clobbered over the head, whisked into a secret passageway, and taken out to a ship waiting in the harbor. But he'd wake up on the high seas and discover that if he wanted to survive, he'd better do what the captain ordered. No matter what he was before, he was now a sailor. It was a cheap way for captains to get crews back then an easy way for some of the town's citizens to make money. And yes, Shanghai was a real-life uh, practice back, that, that back then as well. Whoever trashed Katie's boat also ruined her GPS. Oh, now that's a shame. Yeah, he sounds unsympathetic, but when we to explain our situation, he's genuine. Oh, now that really is a shame. Tell you what, I got a spare right here in my duffel. You know what else I got in my duffel? I have no idea. This is a little seamanship quiz I whipped up. I'm thinking about making people pass it before they're allowed to rent any kind of watercraft once I become harbor master. Here. The idea is to cut down on having to rescue people who got no business being out on the water in the first place. Trouble is, nobody's actually taken it yet. I need a guinea pig. You mean, if I take the quiz, you'll let me borrow the GPS? If you pass the quiz, the GPS is yours. 
You'll need that container for the last question. See you around. Watch out for Caddy. Okay, here's the... All right, so the last quiz question, that's important to know. Each flag stands for a letter of the alphabet. Uh, yes, the maritime flags. Yes, this will become in handy later for something else. Um, this tells us the difference. Uh, capturing female crabs or harvesting them is illegal, so if you make one mistake of it with a female, you're let off the hook, but if you do it twice, you get arrested. So let's make sure we get the correct one. Oh man, I love New England clam chowder. I wonder if that's what this is supposed to be, even though it's on the West Coast. All right, um, need to go to Whale World to answer one of the questions, but Andy Jason is there, so let's talk to him. Um, before I talk to him, though, um, let me go to the lighthouse. That's where I'll find the crab I need and a few other things. Yes, and that's important to know because we've got something. Let's see. Let's see. Third. Oh, great. Listen to that victory music. All right. I think there's a male crab here. which means keep out, which means you, girly. Girly? Girly? Leave. <laughs> but I just... Now. If you try again, he'll just come and yell, go! Go! Yeah, and she'll let you know uh, if you got it right. Looks like I need a key card to play. Hi there. Welcome. What can I do you for? Are you Andy Jason? That's me. How'd you know? I'm Nancy Drew. I'm a friend of Katie Firestone's. I saw your business card on her boat. Nice to meet you, Nancy. Any friend of Katie's is a friend of mine. So you consider yourself to be a friend of Katie's? I like to think we're friends, or that we could be friends if she'd just be reasonable. You mean if she'd just accept your offer? I'm offering her the deal of a lifetime. She'd make more money, she'd have more free time. I mean, look at this place. I run a first-class operation. It's my mission to see that everyone who comes to Snake Horse Harbor leaves with a greater appreciation for marine mammals. 
And if I make a buck in the process, that's cool too. Why do you want to buy Katie out? She can't be taking that many customers away from you. I don't like her taking any customers away from me. And frankly, with this whale doing its orphan thing out there, I'm losing a lot of customers to her. Isn't the whale just as good for your business as it is for hers? Katie convinced the fishery service that she should be allowed to monitor the orca's condition, which means she can get right up next to the whale while my boat has to stay away. Katie takes passengers with her when she checks on the whale? Paying passengers, as many as she can safely fit. What do you think should be done with the orca out there? Nothing. I think people should just leave it alone. I mean, why do we humans always think we know best? We can barely deal with ourselves, let alone a whole other species. Someone ransacked Katie's boat while she was in town this morning. Made a real mess. Hmm. Wonder if it's related to those burglaries. What burglaries? A bunch of stuff was stolen from two shops earlier this week. Food, tools, clothing, electronics. There was no sign of forced entry, no trace of who did it. Sheriff's still scratching his head. Whoever ransacked Katie's boat tore a bunch of parts out of her engine. It's like they wanted to make sure she couldn't go anywhere for a while. That's too bad. In a way, it's kind of good. I mean, for you at least. Very true. As long as her boat's out of commission, I'll get all her customers. I'd like to play the games in your center, but it looks like I need some kind of key card. Here you go. This will activate all the games. It will also keep track of what games you've won. And it'll let you play all the games as many times as you want. Would you laugh if I told you I found some kind of message in a bottle? Welcome to the club. Just about everybody around here has found one. Rumor has it our semi-resident nutcase, Hilda Swenson, is trying to tell us something. Who's Hilda Swenson? Go talk to Jenna over at the hot kettle. That lady hears all, sees all, and is usually real willing to tell all. She can tell you about those messages. Thanks for your time. Have a good one. Um, there's something I forgot to get at up at the lighthouse, so let's go back. Then I want to go to Katie's boat. Um, I know the answers to the quizzes, but you can get, look for them uh, on the internet, on Nancy's laptop. So I'll show you that, those pages, but then I'm going to just type in all the answers. Here it is. S S. He just broke off from the ship. Gotta always want to make sure you pick up the helmet, otherwise, yeah, you don't want to have a fatal accident. I'm not gonna talk to Katie again just yet, but I'll show you. There's the alphabet and number system. So now let's look at the others. Nautical terms. I know the, uh, the parts of the boat. Starboard is right, port is left, bow is front, stern is back. All right, now let's uh, answer the questions. West. Nah. No, I'm sorry, the wrong place. That looks right. Okay, left has port. Same, Good. same number of letters as left. That's easy to remember. Yes. And this is vote for Holt. Correct. Little Dipper. Am I smart or what? Yes, you are. Fisherman. Perfect. Ben. That should do it. 
I have to bring him a male Dungeness crab? All right. Now that's uh, all of the questions answered. So let's go back to the hot kettle. But before I talk to Holt again, let's talk to the woman there, Jenna. But we're in the Pacific. What can I get for you, Nancy? Well, for starters, you can tell me your name. Jenna Devlin. Sorry. My aunt didn't warn me when she left me this place that I'd be inheriting her knack for eavesdropping, too. So you own this cafe? Aunt Iris left it to me three years ago. It's been in the Devlin family since the day it was built, which was back in, like, 1866 or something. So, you're visiting Katie Firestone. My condolences. Your condolences? Me and her don't see eye to eye on a couple of things. Like the whale. Like the whale? That orca out there should be rejoined with her pod as soon as possible. Period. End of story. No matter what Miss Fancy Schmancy science degree says, other people may be bamboozled by all her talk of data charts and field tests and monitoring whatnots, but not me. The only thing she wants is to get that whale into an aquarium. It wouldn't surprise me if Katie's been secretly feeding it. Which is against the law, by the way. And you know what else? It wouldn't surprise me if she trashed her own boat because she knew that after that meeting last night, everybody would assume that Holt did it and not want to vote for him. I got an idea. Let's change the subject. Does Andy Jason ever come in here? Everybody comes in here. Know how some people can't go a day without coffee? People around here can't go a day without a bowl of my clam chowder. In fact, if you ever want a free sample, just say the word. So, Andy Jason is one of your regulars? Actually, he only comes in once or twice a week. Says he's too busy. Of course, the reason he's so busy is because he's too cheap to hire another person to help him run the place. Kind of surprised me when I heard he was trying to buy Katie Firestone out. <coughs> Must have something up his sleeves, all I can figure. What do you know about the shanghai that used to go on around here? It never went on. That's what I know. Shoving grown men into passageways and carting them off to ships never to be seen again? It's just a big, colorful, tall tale. Never happened. What can you tell me about Hilda Swenson? She was this lady who retired here with her husband about 20 years ago. They made a ton of money in Hollywood as writer-producers and just wanted to enjoy life. Wonderful people. Very active. In fact, Hilda was mayor for eight years. But then, out of the blue, her husband died. They'd been a team for so long that, well, she pretty much died then, too. Did she move away? She just kind of lost it. Started talking to walls and doing bizarre things until one day she rode to the island across the channel that she and her husband owned and never came back. And now she uses notes and bottles to communicate with people? Trouble is, nobody can understand what she's trying to say. All she ever writes is letters and numbers and that one word. Rosebud. I leave a couple of bags of groceries outside her cabin every week and sometimes I can see her inside. But whenever I try to talk to her, she won't answer. Did she ever leave anything behind that might help decode her messages? She left everything behind. Problem is, it's all been sold, given away, or thrown out. We'll never know what's going on in that mind of Let's hers. ask to try some clam chowder. You to try a bowl of your clam chowder? Coming right up. Next one will be on the house, too. Mm-hmm. Mm. That was delicious. Here, let me get rid of that for you. It's been fun talking to you. Back at ya. You again? I'm sorry for trespassing like that. So what do you want? I finished that seamanship quiz. Let's have a look. Right as rain. Just bring me that male crab and you'll be home free. I've got a male crab, I think. Let's have a look. Right as rain. Congratulations. Here's your GPS. Just turn around and follow right. the instructions. All right. Now we can go I'll exploring. I'll take care of the crab for you. Great. Thank you. Did you say you were a fisherman? Fourth generation. I've fished every ocean for just about every fish you can make money fishing for. Lived here for the last 11 years. Are you retired? Fishermen never retire, young lady. After all, what would we do? Go fishing? <laughs> Only reason I'm not out there right now is because I've been in and out of campaign meetings since 8 this morning. You're running for office? I think it's high time people around here started doing what makes sense. 
Instead of doing what's politically correct all the time, Harbor Master, we got now, bends over backwards so far for the environmentalist, it's a wonder he can still walk upright. Did you know Hilda Swenson? Sure did. She even crewed for me a couple of times. There she was, this itty bitty lady in her 60s, hauling in nets. Did it for the sheer love of adventure. She was quite a gal. I'm pretty sure I saw a couple of dead Atlantic herring on the beach earlier today. Is that possible? Nope. You may have seen Pacific herring, but not Atlantic herring. No way. Why is it so impossible? Because Atlantic herring are found only in the Atlantic. Trust me, I spent five years fishing for them. We catch them by the hundreds, freeze them, and sell them to aquariums and stuff. To aquariums? You mean to feed to other fish? Or to sea mammals? Of course. What else would they do with them? Bring them back to life and put them on exhibit? Look, I don't know how it is where you're from, but up here seeing two dead fish on a beach isn't exactly front page news. Let it go. See you around. Watch out for Caddy. Watch out for Caddy. Is a crusty old sea dog, I think. A book on sea, sea monsters. Very cool. Yep, here's cat. That's what Caddy looked like, supposedly. All right, now um, let's go back to the boat and talk to Katie before we start exploring using the GPS. Excuse me, I'm just trying to clear my nose after sneezing earlier. What's up? Sounds like Polk Scotto was one of the people who didn't care for what you had to say last night. He and I never see eye to eye. Now, if I were a fisherman, I'd be right as rain no matter what nonsense came out of my mouth. Fine harbor master he'd make. I talked to Jenna Devlin when I was at the hot kettle. What nasty rumor is she spreading about me today? Do you two not like each other or something? She doesn't like me, that's for sure. She thinks I'm a know-it-all from the big city. I found this piece of wood on the beach. There's something strange about it. What do you mean? Let's see it. Ouch, those splinters are sharp. That is odd. It looks like it's been in the water a long time. But if that were the case, those edges would be dull. That looks like it broke off of something just recently. That's exactly what I was thinking. Any idea where it came from? Could be off a cargo ship, I guess. But you know who you should ask? Casey Porterfield. He works at the Maritime Library in Port Townsend. You should give him a call. His number's 360-555-3095. He loves checking out stuff like this. See you in a bit. Have fun. All right, um, let's call Casey. But before I do, let's at least look at this Lucky under under the microscope. One glass slide. Cool under the microscope. Let's have a look. Too cool. All right. Maritime Library, this is Casey. Hi, my name is Nancy Drew. Katie Firestone suggested I give you a call. Katie who? Katie Firestone. Never heard of her. Oh. I know a marine biologist named Katie Firestone. Yes, that's her. I'm staying with her here in Snake Horse Harbor. Oh, well, then what can I do for you? She said you might be able to help me identify the ship that this piece of plywood I found on the beach came from. How do you know it came from a ship? Because it says SS on it. The rest of the name is missing. Doesn't mean anything. Now, if it said SS, which stands for steamship, that'd be different. Uh, actually, that is what it says. Oh, well, then it came from a ship. Or should I say, shipwreck? What kind of wood is it? I don't know. Old? <laughs> Sorry, for a second there, I thought you said old. Actually, uh, that is what I said. You're about as much use as a beanie in a hurricane. Look, if you want me to tell you what shipwreck that wood came from, you're going to have to tell me what kind of wood it is. But I have no idea. Well, you just get yourself a book on wood and figure it out. Maybe Katie has one. Soon as you do, call me back. I love checking out stuff like this. Um, so now let's call Dr. Predovichu to get an identification of the wood. This is Dr. Predovichu. Hi, my name is Nancy Drew, and I'd like some help identifying this piece of wood I found. I'd be happy to assist. Do you have our mailing address? 
Well, that's the problem. I don't have time to send it to you. Would it be possible to identify it over the phone? Certainly. Just hold it up to the phone for a couple of seconds and I'll take a read. I'm kidding, of course. I usually don't do this over the phone, but I'll give it a try. You will, however, need to take a look at your sample under a microscope. I already did that. And are you near the sample in case you need to refer back to it? Yep, I'm right by it. All right, we'll get started. Where did you find this wood? It's a piece of driftwood, probably used for a crate. Is the wood sample black, brown, or yellow? Brownish. Brown brown or brown reddish? Brown reddish. Does the sample have many holes, just a couple, or none at all? Many. And are there some holes that are big and some that are small, or are they all the same size? They're all the same size. Okay. And the holes are really, really tiny, right? No, they're pretty sizable. Then you've got the tropical hardwood. I was assuming the sample was of North American wood. All right. Are there any distinguishable horizontal lines on the sample? Yes, there are horizontal lines. If this wood is used for creating, then it's probably Luan. All right, so that's it's the wood, it, Luan. But it's a rainforest so let's call so Casey back and let him know. Luan, all right. Thanks for your help. Glad to have been of service. Maritime Library, this is Casey. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. I called before about the driftwood. Never heard of you. Now, if you'd have said Nancy Drew... Uh, yes, does he have me, Nancy poor, Drew. Is he a and poor he listener? A so what kind of wood are we talking about here, Nancy? Luan. Well, if that driftwood did come from a cargo container that's part of a shipwreck, there's a good chance I can figure out which one. Call me back in an hour or so. You can identify a ship by what its cargo containers are made out of? Ever since the hobo spider got into the U.S. by laying eggs in the wood crating of ships coming from Europe... The feds have made sure that cargo ships keep real careful records. Of course, I'll be taking things like tides, currents, weather conditions, proximity to Snake Horse Harbor. I'll be taking all those factors into consideration, too. I really appreciate your doing this for me, Casey. And well, you should. All right, now let's finally go take the kayak out and explore. Gotta remember to put that on, too, before you climb into the... Uh, the kayak you know playing this game uh, from years ago has made me want to try kayaking sometime oh another bottle if you go past this you'll be Sec it's the end of the game for you, so you just keep going. Oh, we're in the sea caves. There's another bottle. Yes, they are, so let's... When I get out of here because there's no signal in here otherwise. Uh, we'll uh, enter the coordinates into the GPS. Now let's do that. Make a new one. All right. When you get it right, it'll, you, it uh, stays that way. a new waypoint so let's go find it okay i can't go that way so i'll have to change my direction that's what happens you have more space than you might think but when you run into those channel markers you have to find a way around them to keep going in another direction yep here we go here's the This is the new waypoint, this little beach. Now it turns out, look, this little pool. Starfish. But the 
what we need to see here on this little beach is this. Well, there's seven flags of the alphabet, so what do they spell out? Well, Jenna said it, something that Hilda tries to say, and we saw on these, uh, here, Rosebud. So using, if you remember the letters that correspond to the maritime flags, it's this to spell out Rosebud. All right. Okay, these are directions, port, starboard, so left, right. But this won't cut, we won't know for that purpose until later. Oh, and look at this. Those, um, that other, below the uh, flags in the kettle cafe, was another set of words that correspond to uh, letters of the alphabet. So this story doesn't make sense, but it's telling us something. Telling it's what it's telling us is the a message. So far, so good. There, are, yeah, there. Each word, so like here, alpha is for a, delta is d, so, and so on and so forth. Now oh, that's interesting. Murmuring. So let's do that then. All right, let's go talk to everybody. thing I want to do is go I'm gonna go talk to Annie because I want to play the games at his center and that's links to what we need to do to get the, his gift see his gift from Hilda Okay, so we need to play all five games in here. Ooh. Gotta watch out for like toxic cans, squids, and sharks, and orcas, because otherwise you have three lives before it. Uh oh. That's getting close. But you can't have it stay... Oh, crud. This here comes a shark. Get fish for it to eat to get points. I think you need a score of 10,000 to pass... Oh, watch out for those. I think they're torpedoes. His oh. orcas will eat them, so... Oh, gotta watch out for those, uh... Mines, underwater mines, too. So, you eat the fish to gain points, but you have to avoid the mines, the torpedoes, the squid, the shark, the... Oh, that can. 
know it might hit me, but... Little drat. Okay, I'm not... Uh, well, if you can see the lines here, they can't get, just can't, has to stay with... Can't get past the line. Oh, and if you keep it underwater too long, and it, then it'll die without proper respiration. So that can lead to a loss of life too. Uh, is the score then twenty thousand that I need to get? Right. All right. Okay, so when you win, uh, it's checked off. Um, when you finish the four games, then you have to go to the uh, prize wheel to get your prize. So that's if it's correct. Yes, they are extremely intelligent. If you get one wrong, then you have uh, more chances, but I think you only have more questions to ask before you can win, but I think you only have like, can only get two wrong. All right. Wow. They do, well, they are larger than us in nature by size, but they do wonder if uh, whales are smarter than people. Um, I know the sounds, so I'm not going to listen sh listen to them. Well, if you want. Uh, I think that, that's a humpback whale. Yeah. I know the orcas sound all too well. I've heard the sound effect of humpback whales in films before, so <sighs> it's not hard for me to identify, but I've heard, heard this first and then the sound effect later in a movie, so that's how I can remember it. Throughout the center, you've been able to hear the sounds different cetaceans make. <clears throat> to see just how good your memory is, press a button, listen to the sound that plays, then press the button of the cetacean that made the sound. If you've made a correct match, the button lights will stay on. When all the buttons are lit, you've matched them all. All right. I was like, so that's a gray whale sound. That's humpback. That's a mink. Orca.
and the porpoise. All right, just one more and then we'll be able to put in Whale of Fortune. Oh, what a great pun. As a lover of puns, I just love to see wherever they come up. Need 15 plus to win. Can't get them all then. Can't get them. All. What I mean is, sometimes they come up so fast that you obviously you can't get them. So now let's put this in. And look what we win a whale watching tour. How awesome is that? Now let's tell Andy. Um, but before I do, I want to look at this. Because this will become important later. Hi, Nancy. I understand that Hilda Swenson gave you a present? She gave me the design I used to create the keychains I give away to everyone who goes on a Whale World Whale Watch. She was quite the graphic artist. Could I have a keychain? Sure. If you go on a whale watch. That boat in a bottle you have is fascinating. It was made by one of the first non-Native Americans to settle here. A guy named Benjamin Hawkins. I bought it from this lady who kind of went bonkers after her husband died. You mean Hilda Swenson? That's the one. Gave away everything she owned, moved to this tiny island across the channel, and went certifiably nuts. Which is too bad. She was a nice lady. I want a free whale watching tour. Well, congratulations. I'll give you an exclusive tour. Just be you and me. I'm ready when you are. I get a free keychain, right? Actually, I only give them to paying customers. Even if I really, really, really want one? Okay, okay. Thanks for your time. Have a good one. Trent, wonder what that means. Well, the other gifts have letters on them, so let's go see them. And I think I will because there's something in here we need to look at. Oh, look, three, four, seven, five, four digit code. That's to the lighthouse. He must be letting us go in there if he was like, if he, we can look at the chess, chess book. I know the moves, but I wanted to look in there to show you guys that this is the, that's the code we need. Another little piece of victory music. Before I give it look to him, we'll look at this. We're gonna, it's important we need to know uh, at least one of the po important poker hands. Done with that chess problem yet? Got it right here. Right as ring. And to keep up my end of the bargain, here's what Hilda gave me. Handles made of scream shawl. She carved it herself. Never would tell me why she wrote one bum on it like that. Of course, this was after her husband died. 
guess your mind was starting to go. Thanks for letting me see it. See you around. Watch out for Caddy. That's the third time he's told us, watch out for Caddy. <laughs> Just, but it can always be random, these farewells they say to you when you finish talking to them. Hi, Nancy. How's it going? Did Hilda Swenson give you something? She made a necklace for me. Prettiest thing I own. I'd show it to you, but it's at my house. How did you know she gave me something? It's kind of a long story, but I'd really love to see that necklace. Problem is, my home's across town, and I'm real low on clams, which means I've got to go clamming before I can even think about doing anything else. Why don't I go clamming for you? Okay, if you get the clams, I'll go get the necklace. You can put them in here. Fifteen ought to do it. That's the limit anyway. But you also need a permit. Andy Jason can issue you one. You know, your clam chowder really is awesome. Say no more. Next one will be on the house, too. Uh, we manipulate her into giving us free Ooh. chowder. Mmm, that was delicious. Oh. Here, let me it get sure looks like New you. England clam chowder. That's my favorite kind. Well, I've never tried the like Manhattan, but New, New England it's clam chowder, that's my favorite that's soup. <laughs> that's my most favorite soup. All right, so let's go back to Whale World to ask Andy for a permit. Hi, Nancy. I need a clamming permit. Jenna said I could get one from you? Ordinarily you could, but permits mean paperwork, and I'm kind of busy right now. Of course, if someone wanted to volunteer to help me... What kind of help do you need? Inside that box marked Caddy is a miniature of what our resident sea monster might look like in skeletal form. Assemble it for me, and I'll not only give you a permit, but I'll throw in a free clam tube. And remember, whales rule! Alright, so the model's right here. All right. Oh, yeah. yeah. When if you get it right, it'll stay in place, and Nancy like gives little victory quotes. Bingo. Hmm. Nope. Nah. Good. There we go. This is obviously the tail. Good. Hmm. Good. Excellent. Good. Oh yeah. Bingo. That's the oh, yeah. fin, obviously. That's part of the neck oh, still. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh huh. Good. These are all remaining of the tail. Hmm. Okay, that's in the right place. Bingo. Bingo. Wow. Am I a creative Great genius job. or what? Victory music. Hi, Nancy. I finished putting that display together. So you did. Caddy never looked better. Here's your permit, and here's your clam tube. Look for little holes in the sand. Sometimes water will squirt out of them. Anyway, center the tube over the hole, push it down into the sand, and pull. If you're quick enough, the clam will be in the sand that comes out of the tube. If not, try, try again. Thanks for your time. My pleasure. Well, there are places to scram at the lighthouse, but majority of it will have to be done at that little beach that we found. Notice, cells, I forgot to mention, this is all taking place in one day, so there's no clock or anything. Um, What's up? I saw a wanted to talk to her about this. Jason's place. He said it was made by a guy named Benjamin Hawkins. As a matter of fact, I've done some research on Hawkins. He settled here in the mid-1800s, lived in a cabin where the lighthouse is now. Why are you doing research on him? Some of the things I heard about him got my curiosity going. For instance, he apparently had a major feud going with some sea captain. Hawkins would see the guy sail on the horizon, grab his family and all his valuables, and go into hiding for days. What was the feud about? Nobody knew. Rumor had it that the sea captain was an ex-pirate, which might explain why Hawkins hid. But where he hid is still a mystery. See you in a bit. I'll be right here. All right. Want to check on this? Looks like whatever 
is in here is starting to be fried. Uh, it's, I can barely make out the figures, but it looks like it's fish. Uh, something's fishy I th here, I think. <laughs> All right, let's go to that beach. All right, dead end, so yeah, you have to get around. All right, so here is an example of a clam hole. All right, got one. I should tell you though, sometimes you're not always gonna get clams. You get rand like random things that maybe allude to other games or just like junk, fish skeletons, a clip, a scallop, or muscle, what a shell of some sort. Five for five doesn't usually happen, or sometimes it'll be blank. Well, this is a pretty rare thing to get six in a row without any. Here's an example yeah, sand dollar. Just gotta keep looking. All right, seven, almost halfway there. All right, right now it's not gonna. You, they're obviously they're not gonna might not always be red again because they might not have enough well, I'm more than halfway that. there and uh, turns out you have yes you have to get most of the clams here on this beach um, but if you think that's the only spot here no you have to carefully choose the rocks to go over to that little spot there if you pick the wrong rocks though Nancy's gonna slip and fall and be in an accident and it case ends for you Okay, so you got these little red spots, so... Ugh, there's something that's unnecessary. Fish skeleton, like I said. Alright, nine. Alright, ten down. Well, let's try again here because it turns out uh, from my experience of playing this that to get the clams you need to, you're going to have to find 11 of them on this entirety of the entirety of this beach. Uh, the other four you're going to find at the lighthouse, but okay, not here, so we'll just have to look again on the beach before I leave. I'm not leaving. I'm going to try again. Yeah, see? Just go back and check. All right. There you are, my pretty. I don't see any yeah. more clams. Maybe I should look somewhere else for a while. So now we go to the lighthouse. And after I get the clams, that we got the pa passcode to the lighthouse, so then let's go inside. Yeah, we got the passcode from Holt's chess book, that little post-it. So let's go inside then we get there. Before I find the clams, let's go ahead inside. Uh-oh. Uh, something's falling. Let's not go forward. Let's uh, back up. Whoa! Whoa! That was close. Yes, if Nancy gets hit, she'll again be injured and uh, it's game over for her. Another little victory music. 
Uh, this uh, releases a door outside. Let's see what we can find. It's a picture of Caddy. Need one of these bulbs. All right, let's go back inside and see what's at the top. Yeah, probably hold himself. Oh, look, Coco Kringle Bar. I don't have any message to send. That's today. I wonder why it's circled. Looks like the bulb's missing. It's rusted shut. Ah, okay. there we go. All right. Um, let's look for the other clams, and while we're here, let's call Casey back to see if he has any results about the wood. Hmm. Rats. Well, we're gonna find them all on here, That though, trust me. One more. All right, we got him. All right, 15 clams, I'm all set. Now let's call Casey. finding what shipwreck that piece of driftwood came from? Sorry, can't talk now. I'm waiting for a real important call from Nancy Drew. Casey, that's me. I'm Nancy Drew. Oh, then I got some good news. You know the name of the shipwreck? The SS Whitechapel Dawn. Sank five years ago right there in the channel outside Snake Horse Harbor, about a mile and a half due northwest of the lighthouse. Really? I hear that channel up there's been pretty busy, but with that orphaned whale messing things up for the fishermen and all. Anyway, everything fits except one thing. I knew it was too good to be true. The Whitechapel Dawn went down in deep water. Real deep water. Too deep for currents to be carrying debris. Hundreds of feet then. Possible. Could a recent storm have churned things up down there? I've been doing this type of research for 20 years, young lady. When I say something's not possible, it's not possible. Yet somehow a piece of wood from it washed ashore. What kind of ship was the Whitechapel Dawn? It was just a regular old freighter bound for San Francisco from Vancouver, British Columbia. Nothing unusual about it if you don't count the rumors. What rumors? How about the smuggling? The ship was smuggling something? After it sank, some crew members said there was something unusual about the cargo it had been carrying. That's all. No specifics. Just rumors. How many people went down with the ship? Zero. Everybody managed to survive. Official cause was foul weather. But whenever a boat goes down in those parts, they always unofficially blame it on... Oh, what do they call that sea serpent up there? Caddy? No, they... <laughs> Caddy! That's what they call it. Caddy! Anyway, this has been fun, young lady, but I need to get back to work. Uh, by the way, I just got done emailing you something. What? I said, I just got done emailing you something. <laughs> Great, thanks. Well, goodbye, Casey. Goodbye, Caddy. <laughs> Certainly hope he doesn't operate heavy machinery. Ugh. All right, now let's go take these to Jenna.
No, oh, Holt's not here. And look, there's no one, they don't have to sign up anymore, so, or anyone talking, so we can go back there finally. Oh, good, you got the clams. Let me take those from you. I'll take that clam tube off your hands, too. You'll never guess what happened. While I was home getting that necklace for you, somebody broke in here. The chef just left. Really? Was anything stolen? What's weird is I'm not only missing food, like bread and eggs and stuff like that, but it looks like they also stole a bunch of tools and some boat parts. Boat parts? Go figure. What's more, both doors were locked when I got here, and none of the windows were broken. It's like a ghost did it. You know, it's possible that the sheriff missed something. If you want to play detective, please be my guest. If you have any questions, just holler. Oh, um, let's ask her about the necklace. Hi, Nancy. How's it going? Do you have that necklace you said you'd go get? Well, sort of. My niece got hold of it last time she was out here and locked it up in some kind of toy box. It's on the table over there if you want to try to open it, because unfortunately, I can't. You know, your clown chatter really is awesome. Say no more. Next one will be on the house, too. Mmm. Mmm. That was delicious. Here, let me get rid of that for you. It's been fun talking to you. Back at ya. Okay, while we look around, um, we need to notice... What is this card thing? Good question. And I have said it, and the others like it. It's been on the walls and here since the place was built. I mean, well, as it turns out, the significance of this is... Um, we need to make it into a royal flush. So there are four of these in all. That's why we had to look at the poker book in Holt's duffel bag. I made a royal flush. Uh, let's see. Some of these are just plain panels, but um, here is another. Oh, uh, I think that's this is uh, that was clubs. Uh, so now we need to make diamonds, hearts, and spades. And uh, if you think that something's going to happen when I make, uh, put in a royal flush, all four royal flushes, yes, you are right. Now one more, the hearts. Um, before I do that though, let's uh, try to open this. Match pair of the class, all three screens. So this is random, so you have to match the food. Oh. So it, you have to do it for all three screens to, for, in order to open it. Pepper. Uh, rats. Good. 
pineapple. Wait, I think the pair's here. Grapes. Fish, fish. Here we go. All right, finally. <laughs> okay, so now that we have all the letters uh, from those gifts, we are going to go back to Nancy's computer to use the anagram buster. Huh. Look. That's strange. Here's the last one. Okay, so now we have to organize all the hearts. Guess what? It unleashes a trap door. That's how the burglars got in. I bet that's how those burglars got in. I can't see a thing. I need a flashlight. So we have to go back and ask Katie for one. Looks like you do a lot of shopping at Save King. I do all my shopping at Save King. That's Hilda was mayor. Okay, we also have to go back to the book because we need to read that email from Casey. Needed to give it to Katie. Hey, what's going on? Sounds like you're making progress. I'm getting there. I remembered that a friend of mine had stashed some boat parts in my storage locker. Would you by any chance have a flashlight? I have a headlamp. I mean, I have one somewhere. I'm sorry, Nancy. I'm so hungry I can hardly see straight, let alone think straight. Would you like a sandwich? That would be awesome. Here's a sandwich for you. Great. Here you go. Mmm, I'm starving. That was fabulous. Thank you. If you give her a bad sandwich, it's game over again because you make her sick. But it, it's also game over if you eat a bad sandwich. Have Nancy, or have Nancy eat a bad sandwich. See you in a bit. Be careful out there. Yep. What is that smell? Something's fishy, like I said. And indeed, it literally is. Yeah.
emails from Hannah. Hmm. No surprise, considering the royal flush hands, you need to unlock that trap door. All right, um, let's go back to the cafe. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, first, I need to use the anagram buster before I forget that. I knew I was starting to forget something. Maybe I can use my handy dandy anagram buster to figure out what those strange words on Hilda's gifts mean. Well, here are the possibilities. I don't think so. That well, doesn't make sense. Nope. Well, that makes sense, but it's actually this one. So let's just reorganize it. Interesting. So we'll have to send Hilda Nancy's telephone number. Uh, first, let's go back to the cafe, though, and explore. So, as it turns out, this is uh, also where the other two burglaries had taken place that Danny mentioned in the shops, two shops. I wanted to show you that before I start exploring. Here's the other entrance to the other shop. All right, now well, here's you, where you walk down for the like majority of the, of uh, where you need to be going. I just tripped over some paper. I hope the mic didn't pick that up, but if it did, I apologize for the noise. Uh, well, this is the other side of that door in the lighthouse. Hear that pinging sound? Yep, it's that noise. Let's take a look. I'm in the sea caves. Oh, right. Back, we're back to the sea caves. I wonder what this is, though. But uh, we can't go out the way we came. I mean, uh, we can't go out the other way. Uh, we need this, though, for that um, that spot up in the holding the, that's holding the light up in the lighthouse, that light bulb. I mean, Let's tell Jenna about this. The 
before I head to the Hi, Nancy. House. How's it going? Did you know that there's a trap door in the floor of your banquet room? A trap door? No. Where does it go? It drops down into a tunnel. And when I explored it, I found trap doors going up into two other shops. A tunnel? I don't know anything about it. It's probably how those burglars got in and out. Look, tunnels are dangerous. I don't want you going down there anymore. Oh no, I'll be fine. I mean it. Just forget about this whole thing. A crime was committed and I just discovered something that might help solve it. I can't just drop it. Okay, look. I guess if you're real careful, you can keep poking around down there. But I don't want you telling anybody else about that tunnel without coming to me first. I got my reasons. I've also got work to do. Need to put the password in again. All right. Oh, yeah, we can't yet yeah, because I need to spray this. Perfect. All right, now it should work. Okay. She's just sending us a message back. That's her. Hello? Hello, Nancy. Hilda here. Hilda? Hilda Swenson? Easy, girl. Not like you're talking to the Queen of England or anything. Although I did meet her once. Stuffy lot of those Windsor. It's just that I kind of feel like I know you. More important, I know you. Or rather, I know I can trust you. Just in time, too. I have the feeling things around there are about to get out of hand. Trust me to do what? Patience. As in all good films, all will eventually be revealed. In the meantime, I've sent you an email. Read it, follow the instructions, and we'll do lunch. We will? No, no, no. It's just an expression, dear. No one in Hollywood ever really has lunch when they say they're going to do lunch. No. Oh. I'll be in touch. And rest assured, I'll be watching. Which reminds me, someone's been up in the lighthouse. I couldn't see who. I hope they aren't doing any damage. They did leave kind of a mess. We really must put a stop to this, Nancy. Ciao! All right, let's go back to Katie's boat. going to give us a new set of coordinates. Alright, let's put it in. And so, the answers to those are 4, 8, 5, 7, 3, 5.
Let's see where it is. Oh, this is so hard to follow. Here we go. Let's go. What juice for is we go back to that spot in the in the tunnels that we found in the while walking through uh, the hot kettle from the hot kettle. here. Nancy, how's it going? Jenna, is there something you're not telling me about that tunnel I found? My family has always denied that Shanghai ever took place in Snake Horse Harbor. Why? Because it did take place. And my great-great-grandfather, the man who built this place, he was a big part of it. I'd always been told that the tunnel he and his cohorts used to kidnap people had been filled in. 
And Aunt Iris said nothing to me about that trap door you found. If word gets out about that tunnel, the truth about my great-great-grandfather will come out eventually, too. I just wanted to spare my parents' feelings. It's been fun talking to you. Yeah, hasn't it, though? All right, let's um, go back to Katie's boat, put in the coordinates, and find out where it takes us. red here so you use that device So let's go to Handy's place to look at the bottle. I mean, the ship in the bottle. Um, before I do that, I want to talk to Katie one more time. What's up? Jenna Devlin said some of the things that were stolen from her back room in that burglary were boat parts she bought at Safe And. Do a lot of people around here buy boat parts from Save King? Everyone around here shops at Save King. For boat parts and practically everything else. Any other questions? Are you aware that there's a whole lot of fish going bad in your freezer? Of course I am. Whoever tore up my engine damaged my wiring, too. Refrigerator's out, freezer's out, TV's out. It's herring, if I'm not mistaken. The same kind of fish... So we can get her to confess. That she's all right. She's feeding, feeding the, orca. the orca. Okay, but I'm not the only one. I can't afford to feed her much, and there's not enough natural fish in the channel for her to exist on. Yet she's doing fine, which means someone else is feeding her too. You know, this is not a good time for me to be trying to entertain a house guest. How about a rain check? No problem. I understand. As soon as I get this fixed, I'll take you to the mainland so you can catch a flight back to River Heights. I'm sorry, Nancy. <sighs> so she's kicked us out. Let's go to Whale World. Yeah, 
there are some kind of symbols on those sails. Yes, and you know where I saw those symbols? Right there in the sea caves. So first I'm going to go to the lighthouse. Need to pull the lever again. So with those symbols, we need to pick the star one because it'll have the other two symbols here. Put the caddy to surround it, them, its mouth on them. So we got that right. Watch what this does. Well, we'll have to just take the kayak and find out. Alright, let's go. This must be where Benjamin Hawkins hid. But it turns out someone else knows about it from Hilda's notebook. Uh oh. And look, it's Erica. And look, looks like they, here's the Atlantic Herring they're using to feed, feed her. What a smart whale. Yeah, well it had to go. trouble around here? It's not wild at all. It's been trained. How do you know? Because I play fetch with it. I toss something into the water and it would use its head to kind of bonk it back to me. Maybe it just picked that up on its own. No, see, I found this hidden sea cave and in it was this harness type thing like the military uses on the orcas that it trains. What do you think it's been trained for? In the cave there were also some cargo containers. They were from the White Chapel Dawn. Right now. Well, get going. Let us know what she says as soon as she says. I will. 
All right, let's go. Katie's gone. Miss High and Mighty, but I got a cafe to run. Try Andy, Jason. All right, let's so let's go talk to Andy. Hi, Nancy. I was hoping you could help me. I was just about to close up shop, but what do you need? It turns out that Katie's been feeding the orca. You're kidding me. I'd really like to talk to her about that and some other stuff. But she and her boat are gone. Although I have an idea where she went. And you'd like me to give you a ride? Just partway. I'd like to try to sneak up on her. Sneak up on her? I need you to take me out one and a half miles due northwest of the lighthouse. Please. This is really important. I can explain on the way. Oh, man. You've got me so curious, there's no way I can say no. You just got yourself a boat ride. Be careful. I'll be right uh, I have a feeling we're about at the end of this mystery, so... I uh, have to find out where Katie is now, though. Alright, we have to climb on the ship. Look around for Katie. Yeah, so there's a cer certain direction you have to go to avoid the crew. When you hear the sound of footsteps, immediately hide. Still can't believe you robbed those places. The boss was fit to be tied, especially after you hit that cafe. Having that tunnel with all those trap doors and nobody suspecting a thing. It was like being a kid with a key to the candy store. I couldn't help myself. I wonder what's in those. Those are the animal furs. Hi hey, again. No snoozing. Boss says this Nancy Drew person is a real troublemaker. Like she's gonna show up out here. I'm just telling you what the boss told me. Now keep your eyes open. Boss has it. It's nice of Hilda Nutjob to leave it behind like that, huh? Couldn't have pulled this up without that one. Okay, we escaped the crew members. Now we have to find Katie. There's the orca. That must be the orca I saw before. Huh. Katie's the boss? No, I didn't think so. Oh my gosh. She's been taken hostage. Nancy, I was afraid no one would ever find me. What happened? How did you get here? I fixed my boat and went right out to check on the whale. Only the fog was rolling in and it was getting dark. Then I finally saw her, only she was being fed by some men in an outboard. They were putting some sort of harness on her. When they saw me, they rammed my boat, then grabbed me, tied me up, and brought me here. I don't know what's going on. I think I do. They're using the whale to bring up smuggled cargo from a shipwreck. Shh! Listen! Someone's coming! Hide! Hide! Hide there. Look who it is. 
Andy's the boss, so he's behind it all. will be joining us in a minute. Hey, how'd you get that gag off? Well, it appears she's already here. All right, where are you? Nancy? I can make it back to my kayak. I gotta go get help. Somebody stop her! Gonna hurry before he catches up. But we're trapped. Oh no! I'm trapped! Well, what do we have here? I knew it was you all along. And I told Holt and Jenna, if anything happens to me, they'll know you did it. Nice try. But I can smell a bluff a mile away. You're about to become the victim of an unfortunate kayaking accident. Or maybe I'll tell my customers that the snake horse got you. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's what I'll do. Creative. So you have a moment to think of what to do. Well, what you do is toss this in here. Why? You'll see. What did you do that for? Say goodnight, Nancy. <laughs> See? Nuts. If you try aiming it at him, you'll miss and it won't knock him out. Way to go, buddy! And you're buddy. on the water. And we're finally at the end. Andy Jason. The plan he cooked up to recover smuggled animal furs was a darn good one. First, he got himself an orca that the Russians had trained for covert military operation. Then, he made it look like the whale was an orphan, so he could hide her in plain sight while she did his dirty work at night. Then, he and his henchmen disabled Katie's boat to keep her out of their way. They needed work gloves, so they stole hers. In fact, Andy's henchmen couldn't resist using the tunnel they'd found out about in Hilda's notebook to steal practically everything they could get their hands on. But now Andy and his buddies are in jail. Jenna is serving more clam chatter than ever. Katie is planning to vote for Holt after all. The orca is getting along great with a local pod and is rapidly losing interest in humans. And I'm back on the ferry headed home. See you soon, Nancy. Yes. Oh, look at that. I saw something up here, then quickly it's Caddy. in a channel by Katie's boat. She said it was just a log, but I'm pretty sure it was you know who saying goodbye. All right. <laughs> like its predecessor, Haunted Carousel, this gives us a reward at, award at the end, and I think I know what I'm going to get. <sighs> Puzzle Master. It's like that's all I ever get. Hey, fellow detective. Here's a preview for the next that? game. I haven't, but I've been invited to one. It's in Arizona, and it's called Shadowland, and I can't wait to go. You're invited too. I should probably warn you, it could be a little dangerous. <sighs> And so there you have it for my walkthrough of Danger on Deception Island. I like this game, but it's not particularly one of my most favorites. I mean, the only, I think one of the few parts I like about it is seeing the orca because I'm an orca lover. My, I mean, I love lots of animals within nature and yes, orcas like dogs are another one. Free Willy happens to be one of my favorite films. But this just doesn't have the air of the most other games that I like, especially hunting for treasure or something. Uh, or at least, yeah, just, just hunting for treasure, being, learning about the history of a person. But still, it was fun to play it again and fun to make this walkthrough. I hope you guys enjoyed it.
So that concludes this walkthrough. Um, again, hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you're enjoying all the others, and I'll see you guys in the next vi next video. So until next time. Look at this, though. Fictitious item, the real, very beautiful St. Hines. Visit them, but look out for Caddy. <laughs> Interesting little input there. All right. Now this is the conclusion of the video, so I'll see you guys next time.